In this video, we're going to learn how to color grade. Okay, color grading is usually done during post-production. So most of the videos na ginagawa kasi sa mga films natin or yung mga usual videos or amateur videos na ginagawa sa YouTube are just on the normal settings ng mga camera natin. And color grading is being done in order for you to produce the best quality of the video that it can be. And most of the video editors are actually doing this and I myself are really inclined into color grading. Let me show you how I do my color grading in the videos that I produce, not just for YouTube videos, but also for the projects that I do outside my work in the hotel industry. So before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel and hit the notification bell. You done? Alright, so let's start. So before we start this project, let's get to know more about the terms that we use whenever we're doing our color grading. And these are the color temperature, contrast, and HSL. First is color temperature. This determines how warm or cooler the look of the video is. Next is contrast. A contrast identifies the differences between a lighter or a darker areas in the video. Last one would be HSL. HSL stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. Since we already know these terms that we use for color grading, so now let's start. So now that we all know the terms that we are going to use for the color grading, let's start to adjust this simple clip that we have here on the timeline. And first up, we're going to achieve a joyful atmosphere for this video. So basically, this video that we have is a simple reveal of the food item on the room service table. So in order to start the color grading, so here on the media section of the timeline, now we're going to click this sub panel here on the upper side of the timeline which is Advanced Color Tools, and click Color Correction. Now that we're in, let's go to Adjust, and you will see this panel on the left side, and the one on the upper part will be the histogram. Let me teach you how to read the histogram first. So you will be dividing this histogram grid into two. If you see the pixels on the right, which is your color red, purple, green, and blue, these are the pixels that are present on the clip that you are trying to edit. If the pixels are placed on the right side of the divider, that means that more pixels are on the brighter note. But if these pixels would be on the left-hand side of the histogram, that means that the colors on the clip are on the darker notes. So as you can see, since clear and bright yung magiging clip natin dito, most of the pixels will be placed on the right side. So now, all the buttons on the lower left-hand corner are the things that we can adjust ngayon depending on our taste for the color grading of the scene. Now that we are achieving the joyful atmosphere, we have to work on the warmer colors. Let's go to the temperature first. And if we'll be moving the cursor to the left, you will see that the color of the clip turns into blue, you will also see the histogram is also moving on the top part while I'm moving the temperature panel. Now if we be moving the temperature panel to the right, it will turn more orangish or warmer tones. So let's just adjust the temperature a couple of notches over here, around 5.9. Next is tint. These are the hues that na we have tint. Natin. So if you move it to the left, this will make the clip turn to color green. But if you move it to your right, it will turn roughly between pink and purple shade naman. So you see, there's a few notches in terms of changes dun sa histogram natin and yung look ng actual clip. Now, let's go to colors. Now, mapapansin nyo ngayon yung mga terms na binanggit ko. Visible ngayon siya dito sa color section. Now, if we adjust the exposure, kung mapapansin nyo, merong magiging source of light dun sa side ng clip natin which is on the right hand corner kung saan ang gagaling ngayon yung light from the window if we will be adjusting this exposure panel this will adjust how strong the light will be coming from the window itself and the lighting of the clip will adjust depending on how dark you want it to be or brighter it to be next is brightness this will adjust the lighting effect of the whole clip not just the source of light from the lamp itself and now contrast if you will notice the outline of the food cover, the outline ni mismo is getting more details. So at least we can give more emphasis to the subject, which is itong nasa table mismo. Now let's go to HSL. So as you can see, there are several colors na available dito sa panel natin. 
this means na ito yung mga colors na available ngayon dun sa clip. For example, your color red, your oranges, your yellow, so on and so forth. We can pick out ngayon yung exact color ng items na gusto natin ngayon i-highlight. So for example, all the color reds of this clip, we can make it stronger ngayon yung pagka-vibrant ng color red niya. So let's just say, i-hit natin ngayon yung color orange since meron tayong orange juice right over here. And now we can adjust the hue. As you can see, when I move the hue to the right, take a look at the orange juice on the right side. The color of the orange juice is now getting brighter, but if you move it to the left, it intensifies the color orange of the juice. Now let's try to render this one and let's have a look on the clip na inadjust natin yung color grading. There! Yung color orange ngayon ng poached eggs are stronger and we can now give emphasis to the food that we're revealing ngayon ng food cover. So what do you think? Does the clip look more vibrant and joyful in terms of atmosphere? Let me know in the comment section below. This time, let's try to change the mood to adjust the color grading into darker tones. So this time, I wanted to achieve a darker look more like yung mga napapanood natin na thriller and investigative films. Let's try to adjust the temperature again. So I would say around 31. Now we're going to work on the exposure. Right? Brightness around 17 to 18. Now let's try to work on the contrast and put more details on the outline of the food cover. Then we're going to adjust also the light and put more shadow to the food items to give it more details than the subject again. There we go. I think this is more than enough for me. This one's pretty good. And let's see how it would look like now. So, nagkaroon ng konting suspense ngayon yung itsura ng scene natin nung pag-reveal mismo ng food item. We also have this instant LUTs or presets na ginagamit ni dito here in Wondershare Filmora. There are already pre-save templates that you can use for your choice of color grading. But this time, let's click preset. So, these are the instant presets that's already been generated by Wondershare Filmora. But you can also download other presets that are available online and import them here in Wondershare Filmora. This video is made with Filmora. And if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!